Thank you. So, um, what kind of numbers might we be looking at? Well, there's really nothing for us to talk about until all parties are present. Right, sorry, sorry, of course. Is there anything you want to get set up before Donnie gets here? Yes, actually, that's a good idea. Uh, would you guys excuse me? I want to get that. Yeah. What are those for? These are just basic forms, one for your sister and one for yourself. Sorry if we seem a little nervous or robotic. We have guests over all the time. It's just that with everything going on. I understand completely. It's not the easiest conversation to have. Hey, right, Donna just got here. Donna? Hi. Nice to meet you. Donna, this is Mr. Edric. Edric, that's right. This is Mr. Edric. All right then, shall we begin? Now, first, let me just say to all of you how incredibly sorry I am for your loss. Over the past few years, your father and I have become good friends. What happened to him was completely tragic and shocking, as I'm sure you could agree. Now, to begin, Mr. Martin J. Edwards has named myself as the sole executor of his last will and testament. So, I will read it as follows. <clears throat> I, Martin J. Edwards, would like for it to be known that I have loved my niece and my nephew, James and Donna, as if they were my own. For my strong-willed nephew, James, I appoint my financial holdings of $230,100.75. Let this be the beginning of a beautiful new family and life for you and yours. To my niece, Donna R. Edwards, I would like to leave my humble estate and my wedding ring, both of which were the foundation and reason for many happy and nostalgic moments. May you find in them the same happiness as I had. I love you both, Martin. James, with this amount of money, we can actually live. Honey, come on. Come on, what? We can talk about this later. Amy, before you go, um, I wanted to ask you, if I wanted to get my own will made, you know, just with everything going on in the world, if something were to happen to me, I would like for Helen to have it. I understand. Well, I would recommend finding yourself a lawyer and... And if I wanted you to be my lawyer? In that case, I would say, email me and only me the details of your beneficiaries and I can get something constructed and sent over to you for a testator signature. Thank you. I will definitely email you. <laughs> Honey, come here. Come get the house. We're going to go ahead and celebrate. Is that appropriate? Our uncle did kind of just die. Well, I mean, we're, we're going to celebrate in a... Thank you. In a, in a, in a sad, sad way. James, listen. I'm sorry about your uncle, okay? I am. But it was an opportunity for you, and for you too, Donna. There's a silver lining in all this. Now I suggest that we make a toast to your uncle and to the new adventures that he is giving you guys. Can you guys excuse me? I had some work I had to do, but you guys look like you had some fun. We were just talking about all the fun stuff you guys are going to do with your money. What do you mean? How we can actually enjoy it. Helen, J come on. James, that is the second time you've said that to me today. What was your problem with trying to enjoy life? It's my uncle. He didn't give us the money to just piss away. You could have some fun. Is that what you would do? 
I would enjoy it more than you. All the man gave me was a house. What's wrong with the house? It's old. It needs to be demolished. I have an apartment already. I don't need to maintain a house too. If my roof is leaky, I get somebody to fix it for me. And plus, there's dry rot in the basement and God knows what else is wrong with it. James, let her do what she wants with the house, okay? It's hers. This money, it's ours, okay? We can use it, we can travel, we can buy the things that we want. Helen, we are in debt. We have bills to pay. Don't you think that that should take priority? There will always be debts. And there will always be debt if we spend the money like you want to. <laughs> this money <laughs> needs to be invested, you know, protected. Okay. Just like how your uncle had it protected and look at what good it did him. All right. Well, I'm just going to let this sink in. I will see you guys later. Helen. No, 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 James. I don't understand why you can't just enjoy life. After living paycheck to paycheck, you would think that it would be a godsend for us that we can actually start to, to, to live. It is exactly why living paycheck to paycheck is why we cannot do this. James. Helen, this is not for discussion. No. Why would it be? It's your money. Yeah, it's something that I want to Yeah, no, we can, but, um, no. Anyway. No, we can always try. I've always wanted to go to Cancun. <laughs> Your puppy saw it. What's with the mail? Who are you talking to? One of my girls. Why? Could you not go telling everyone about the money? <sighs> okay. Anyway, what's with the mail? I saw it was from Edric. Yeah, just confirmation papers. You know, about the will. Oh. I heard from your sister today. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Sounds like she's gonna keep the house. Oh, that's great. Maybe she'll have a housewarming party. Why, are you gonna get her something? Maybe I could advise you to get a new Louis Vuitton purse. Okay. James, I'm kidding. What do you wanna get her, really? I don't know. Maybe a letter opener. I obviously needed one. A mail opener. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let you think on that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some work done. Do you think it's rude of me not to offer any financial help with Donna's house? Uh, I think... I think that you already know how you want to spend that money. You know I'll always take care of you, right? You're all I need. I love you. I know you do.
And don't forget to turn out your lamp when you go to sleep. James. James, wake up. There's somebody in the house. What? James, wake up. James, I just heard one of the doors downstairs open up. There's somebody inside the house. Helen, listen to me. Get your phone, go in the closet, call the cops, and be quiet. I'm gonna go check it out. Helen, do you understand? Who are you guys? I'm not gonna just sign over my money to thugs. I'm not gonna sign it. My wife. She has the same nervous tick as you. You're gonna sign this form, James. Come on, Donna. He won't be around long enough to say anything. Is that what you want? It's what I want. Sign it. Fine. Let me sign it. Now what? Well, you just signed over the entire will. So that's mine, thank you. But um, James, I just, I don't think we want the same things in life anymore. So, in a way, I don't think this should go on anymore. Mr. Edrick, what a surprise. You know, I'm actually kind of glad you're here. I was going to have to go through all of James's stuff and all this crap to find your phone number. Really? Why would you have to do that? Uh, well, yeah, because, um, so, he and I, uh, we've been talking the last few nights, and since you came over with the will and all the numbers and everything, so... We figured we'd be safer if we just put the money in my private bank account. So we made up a thing last night. He went ahead and signed it. We just, we needed to get in touch with you to go ahead and get it notarized. That, that would be the next step, right? Well, yes, it would be, but that's actually why I'm here. Um, um, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Well, I have his notarized last will and testament. I just need his signature to ratify it. 
I, um, excuse me, Mr. Hedrick, um, I'm not, I'm not quite feeling myself today, so, um, if we could just pick this up on another day, I'd like for you to excuse me. Of course.